Hi guys and welcome to my carburetor series. Uh, this is the first part, uh, disassembly, followed by cleaning, uh, float height adjustment and reassembly. I'm also going to be making videos on how to tune your carb and fine tuning on, on your bike and many more. So let's get to it. These are the tools that you're going to need for the job. Uh, a small hammer, uh, 1 16th or 1.5 millimeter pin punch, an 8 millimeter wrench or spanner. A carb jet driver set is highly recommended. Uh, I'm going to tell you why later on. A uh, flathead uh, bit from a socket set. A small paper clip, um, three millimeter Allen key, if you already have Allen bolts in there. Um, if you still have the stock GIS screws in there, like I do, um, you may want to invest in one of these. Uh, this is a Japanese industrial standard GIS screwdriver, and this is the only one that fits into these screws perfectly, and it's got a perfect grip, it locks right in. And you're not going to be stripping the heads anymore uh, especially if you want to reuse these screws um, it only costs around 14 15 pounds um, a set of four so it's really worth it and a flathead screwdriver first thing we want to do is drain the fuel otherwise when you flip it upside down gas will be pouring out um, uh, there's no fuel in there, but just to demonstrate it, uh, drain it into a container. Now, some of these float bowls, including mine on my 99 Dyna, do not have um, the drain screws. Uh, it's this one, this is, it's all plugged by factory. So you're just gonna have to remember to put a tray underneath or something. All right, so let's start with the throttle cable bracket. comes straight into the tray to keep it nice and organized don't forget your dowel I do prefer the allen bolts although these are the perfect screws the stock ones with the shoulder on goes your cap, your slide spring, there we go, and there's your slide, you got your retainer or spring seat, and your jet needle. Now just watch out for any washers or shims that could be on here because you don't want to lose them. Inspect your your uh, diaphragm, um, hold it against strong light, and just look for uh, potential tears, rips, uh, any holes. Right? Make sure it hasn't been pinched or anything. Uh, check the piston for wear. Now we're gonna flip it upside down. We have a real nice surface, very secure. And we're gonna start with the accelerator pump assembly. Hold it down, there's a spring in there. And sometimes it won't come off, it's stuck. You need to tap it with a uh, small hammer, just very gently. And there's your cap. Um, now there's a seal, there's an O-ring here. Check the condition of it. Sometimes it's two because there's two holes in here and so there's there's another o-ring here but in this one there's only one one seal and if you haven't taken apart your carburetor for many many years um you might as well buy a rebuild kit and you have all the o-rings gaskets in there um if you've recently cleaned your carb in the, in the last two years uh, it's probably not necessary Got your spring, 
Got your diaphragm here. Again, check it for, for cracks, tears, holes. And you're gonna take the full bowl off. Comes your flow bowl. Check the gasket. If it's in uh, bad condition, replace it. Um, take the drain screw out. Just check the o-ring. If it's in poor condition, replace it. Now at this point, I like to, uh, there's just a rod. So might as well take it out, otherwise it's gonna fall out anyway. Now at this point, um, I like to take the float out um, right off the bat in case you're flipping her around, trying to work out the jets and stuff and accidentally damage it and you don't wanna bend it or anything. Um, there's usually an arrow here um, you're gonna find pointing towards the direction, the pin needs to be driven out um, this one doesn't have one for for whatever reason but I do have another carp here I can show you there's an arrow here and a lot of people confuse this and they think this is the direction the pin needs to go in so they get they, they drive it out this way damaging this small diameter hole here or in worst case scenarios they break this ear off so just make sure you drive it out this way. So we're gonna do that now. Get your pin punch. There you go. Here we go, you got your, your float. You got your float needle here check the needle for excessive wear at the tip if there's a nasty groove on the tip uh, replace it if it's it's only a mark that's fine uh, check the dampener here make sure it's it's not stuck or it's not sticking it's fine Next, we're gonna take out the slow jet. So for that, here comes this brilliant tool, GMP. I'm gonna put a link in the description. Um, it just fits right into those jets. And there's oftentimes people try to use all kinds of different sizes of screwdrivers and damage the heads. I'm going to show you what I mean. See how snug it is? It's just a perfect fit. That's what it's designed for, for these Japanese jets. And if you try it with an ordinary screwdriver, for example, this one, look. And <laughs> invariably, you're going to be stripping this soft head so it's worth getting one of these it comes as a set with, with these other bits and cost around i think it was 15 pounds 15 dollars roughly so there goes your slow jet and for the main jet we're going to use the other bit here that one Just fits perfectly. There we go. Your main jet. You got the emulsion tube. Eight millimeter wrench. Got your emulsion tube here. And you have your needle jet here. Give it a push. Um, it may not.
not come out that easy. Give it a gentle push. There it comes. Make sure you remove this. A lot of people leave leave, leave this one in there and lose it while they are taking it around the workshop cleaning the carburetor. There it is. And all we got left is the mixture screw here. So I have this flathead bit and I marked it um, opposite sides. This is the full turn and this is the half turn because you need to count the number of turns as you seat it gently, you turn it in gently uh, just to see where you are at with the setting. Uh, so it's a good idea to, to also mark the carburetor body. So this is where you are. This is the full turn. So we're going to count. Half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three. So that was three turns. So you can record that, make sure you won't forget. And we can take out this mixture screw. Now, as an assembly, you need to have the screw, the spring, and a tiny washer and an O-ring. So for that, you can use this paper clip to fish them out. Oh, there, there it comes. That's the washer. Sometimes the uh, O-ring is, is stuck in there. I'm just going to use the flashlight to... To see where it is. Yeah, I can see it. Oop. I got it out. It's just there we go. So just put it away as an assembly. Make sure you have everything here. So you got your tiny washer here and you have the o-ring that you will probably be replacing if it's in bad condition there it is and your carburetor is stripped ready to be cleaned